the Joe Rogan experience. Like Anderson Silva, man, that broke my heart when you lost to Jake Paul, yeah. bro. And like, hey, you got this little kid, bro, like, you know, and he's doing his thing, right? You see that he's an athlete. You see that he's working on his uh, his style of fighting, you know what I mean, when it comes to boxing. But at the end of the day, it's still he picking he picking at every MMA head, right? And he, he's fighting Tyron Woolley, Ben Asher, now Anderson Silva. And then guess who he said probably going to be next, right? Jake Paul. No, um, no. Uh, Andrew Tate. Oh, actually, they just posted it. They today. just faced, they just, faced but off But the name, the, the name that he was talking about was Diaz, though. Yes. At first, at first. Well, the Diaz fight is a big name and a big money fight, but he's a lot bigger. He's a lot bigger than Wait, Nate. But that's 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 the point. Yeah, he wants as much as doing many advantage. He is doing it smart, but at the same time, he embarrassing all of us. Like for real, like, and it's sad because like he's saying all these different things and he's talking about and having these real conversations that need to be had, but it's coming from him. He means about money. You already yeah. know, but it's yeah. not. But it's not a conversation for him to have. But it right? is. It is because it helps him get attention. And okay, it helps yeah, there fighters it is, there take it his point. Yeah. I love what he's doing. I hate it. I hate it. I, I love it. I want to be the dad. I'm sure like, you like, do. Like, like, but you're a fighter. <laughs> and I'm going to get a check for it, too. <laughs> yes. But it, it's, not, it's not because I'm just a fighter because he's telling us that we're not even brave enough to fight for ourselves. So I'm going to fight for y'all while I'm knocking out y'all legends in the process of it. You well, know what I'm saying? Well, he's, what he's doing is very intelligent. Oh, no. It's, it's, the it's promotion's smart. off the chart. He's hilarious. He's he's brash and he's winning and he's winning. But it's, it's who he's winning against, though. Yeah, but Anderson like, Silva, you gotta say th that's the most impressive fight that he won. You gotta say Anderson Silva yeah, yeah. is a legend. Be, and maybe he's forty-seven had, years old. But that's the thing. I had Jake Paul to win. Yeah. I knew Jake Paul was gonna win just because of the age itself. So, yeah. You know what I mean? And then uh, on top of that, I didn't see Jake Paul knocking out Anderson either, though. You mm. understand? I just knew it would be competitive uh, enough for Jake Paul to take it. You know what I'm saying? Take mm -hmm. the win. Uh, but at the same time, it's just like, bro, like, if you fought Anderson when he was, you know what I'm saying, in his prime, bro, you getting knocked out. Right. Well, like, you talking about most certainly in an MMA fight. Most Not certainly. even most certainly in an MMA fight. Like, Anderson used to box boxes, yes. bro. And yeah. that's the thing, too, I hate about MMA dudes, like, since we on here, like, a lot of these dudes be like, oh, I box Canelo or I box, you know what I'm saying, Mayweather and all this stuff, but never get in the actual ring and uh, uh, just train and spar with actual real boxers from, like, whatever little, the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to actually box with the guys from the neighborhood and Paige Dale boxing, like Josh uh, Temple, you know, uh, 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 Vaughn Alexander, Devin Alexander's brother, you know? Like, I had to actually work with actual boxers to be like, oh, this is a different type of game. Yes. You know? But when you just boxing with the guys that's in the MMA room and you thinking like because you touching them that you pretty decent, you gonna find out if you actually get in with, with a real boxer before you actually compete with them that yeah you you don't know what you're doing, you know? Because it's certain little combination and it's certain like cadences that we do as MMA fighters that will get us knocked out mm. in front of a boxer. You know? Have you thought about competing as a boxer? Hell yeah, that's what yeah. I'm at. <laughs> but the thing is though, it's so diluted because the the whole perception of MMA guys want to box is because of money. Because I would never just get into it for money. My biggest thing is I would actually commit myself to the sport of boxing. Right. I would get me a boxing coach. Like when uh even George St. Pierre, like I feel like he could have been pretty decent, you know, had a great jab in MMA. But you see he was working with who? Freddie Roach. Right. You know? Right. And uh, Anderson Silva also found a boxing coach. I, I, I forget who he, who he was working with as well. But you could see him that he was training that art of boxing and he was could actually compete in the actual ring. So back you in the would day. need a timeline. You would need. Yeah, definitely need a timeline. How much line. time do you think you would need? Uh, Well, since I've already been working with boxers for a minute and I got a great uh, boxing coach at uh, STL Boxing, uh, Reggie Thomas, shout out to him. Uh, I probably only need like two, three years to actually find me a profile, you know, and actually work up. But my, that's a realistic my... assessment. I'm glad you said that. Two, yeah. three years is yes, correct. Sir. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah. You can't just hop into it. Right. A year time ain't just going to work right. for you. Yeah. Right. And be, right. And then I'm not just going to call out the best in the world. Right. You know, pound for pound. I'm going to work my way up. Right. I'm going to get some knockouts. I'm going to get some good little names. I'm going to get some prospects. And then I'm going to like once y'all see I got a resume now. Now let's see what them names talking about.